Hello, my beautiful Pisces. So let's take a look and see what is going on. I do have a contest going for a free reading. And I'm giving four away on February 1st. Details are at the end of the video. Pisces, look at this energy in the recent past. You and your lover are recovering. I do think some of this can be pandemic, but it looks as though there's a really unstable situation in your relationship that is telling me that somebody may have lost a job. I feel as though it's causing a lot of stress, the Four of Swords, the feeling of being very worried about the circumstances that are going on right now. This also can mean just from a totally romantic standpoint that there has been a big fight and that both of you are sort of, you sort of have withdrawn from each other in the recent past to sort of try to figure out how to heal. You don't really know exactly how to make this foundation stable. The energy, this is Leo energy. This is uh, Mars energy. This is Aries. And this is um, Libra energy. When we look at the Six of Wands, both of you want a victory. Both of you are working towards a victory. You have some disagreements and how to get to be victorious in your relationship, Pisces. This does show sort of like friction. You know, it's that irritating stuff when you say, hey, why don't I do this? And the other person says, well, you know, I don't really think that'll work. So there's sort of that dynamic going on in the relationship. I love the energy, Pisces, of the strength card and the sun card. So the Leo full moon that we had yesterday is infusing your person with a desire to really, really make things, to bring their best creative energies to the table. Your person really loves you. You are their happy, happy. They definitely feel as though, both of you feel as though you're in this sort of unfinished symphony because there's a lot of stress there's you know just things going on in the world that are not helpful and you feel as though you're in between worlds right now but we get dragon energy which is incredible it's beautiful good luck it's courageous good luck it's like the bold is sort of the winner takes all and the yin yang energy shows that you're both very balanced in this relationship your partner pisces could be a leo leo rising sun moon rising or venus but your person really loves you they feel as though they're going to be with you forever they feel as though there's a soulmate connection you're here, Pisces, you're here. Your person views you as a person who will walk away if they are a lightweight in love. Now, the Knight of Cups, a lot of readers love the Knight of Cups. Um, and the Knight of Cups is sweet. I don't really have anything against the Knight of Cups. But to me, this is a lightweight in love because they will profess their love one day and then they will be inconsistent in and out energy. Even if they love you, they're, you know, they're knights. They're off slaying dragons and doing whatever knights do. Um, it's usually not cheating, I would say that. But they're off, they don't, you know, out of sight, out of mind is the feeling that you get. But Pisces, your person feels as though there's a part of you that wants to have more fulfillment, more happiness. There's a part of you that wants more romance, that wants to live a life that's much richer in terms of how you're living, the quality of your life. I do not feel as though, Pisces, your person thinks that you're walking away. They feel as though the two of you are going through what would be deemed kind of a rough period of time, a rough patch, if you will. Now, your person, Pisces, is feeling very, very driven to be successful in your relationship. And we can see it right here. Okay. They feel as though they're very abundant. Your person feels as though they're manifesting this in their life. They feel as though this is going to help give a strong foundation. They definitely feel that you're on board with them. They feel very much that you're on board with them. This is a legacy relationship. This is wealth, abundance, a nice house, a nice home, children, dogs, a beautiful yard, you know, knowing what wine goes with what cheese kind of affluence. 
and your person though feels not so confident that the two of you can manifest this there's this sort of feeling of pending heartbreak or that if there is not abundance in the relationship that the relationship itself could suffer you know the heartache might overwhelm the relationship the energy that shows how your person views the way forward look at this strength card they feel that the two of you will hit the jackpot by something they've created pisces they are working on the abundance and that that will lift both of you into this beautiful energy of stability instead of chaos that feels threatening the hidden energy between both of you is this gorgeous king of pentacles energy second house the king of pentacles is all about this virgo energy let's create something both of you are very passionate your love making is off the charts that's you know like that you have the, ca the capability of making love all night long the two of you probably own a dog together or a pet the two of you are soulmates this is minor arcana it looks as though for many of you you've been together you have some stability when I get the Pentacles and the you know when I get Pentacles the King of Pentacles which is Taurus Leo energy you know we're getting very stable energy here the Sun card those are fixed energies they don't go away when there's a tough moment so I do feel Pisces that your person may have more fixed energy in their astrology chart which gives them a lot of leadership ability in the relationship and it's not not to diminish you it's to say listen I have this great idea I'm gonna work on this if you can work on some of the other stuff Pisces we will be golden we will not be brokenhearted we will not have a situation that's going to disappoint because look at this both of you are in this energy spirit is saying that you might have to make a choice about leaving the current area that you live in uh, for a job okay so I am getting that energy the eight of cups I might add is not always walking or leaving a relationship it can be leaving circumstances the eight of cups oftentimes also infers that you need to take a journey to find yourself so you can come back to the relationship with fire in your belly and the ability to manifest what I'm getting here is this beautiful outcome card of having great clarity that though you're between two worlds right now, you know, with this energy and this energy and this energy, you know, though you're between two worlds, your person may also be a dragon, you know, in Chinese astrology. And so what we're getting is that you have an outcome your person and you have the outcome of having great clarity about what you want you're very honest with each other you work together beautifully you collaborate absolutely stunningly well when you have a disagreement the two of you tell the truth in a very gentle very 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 clear way but look at your ships have come in the surfboard has arrived you're about to start a passionate new journey into this very Aries energy that's going to take you from the three of wands the surfboard the beautiful experiences looking forward into the future to this beautiful victory and beautiful abundance great happiness the wheel of fortune Sagittarius Jupiter and Aquarius is helping you and it is in your seventh house energy in some way that energy is coming in to give you a boost Pisces it's been a joy thank you sending you love from Chicago send some back and tell me where you're from